Hello everyone, look at this. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to show you step by step how you can transform this into a one of a kind. And welcome, I'm Uri and this is the inspiration for this project. I'm going to be using the fabric paint by Talib you can use acrylic paints as well. I'm taping the belt on the hat to make sure that the paint doesn't go on it. Using a pencil, I'm sketching the flowers. I already have a design in mind. I already spaced them out. I know now where I'm going to be drawing the flowers and where I'm going to be adding leaves around the hat. The reason why I'm painting daisies on this hat is because it's for my friend Margarita. Margarita is daisies in Spanish so I thought it was appropriate and having a conversation with her the other day she mentioned that her name comes after the flower not the drink so I thought it was a little bit of a joke <laughs> that I'm going to give it to her saying you see I got you this because your name is after the flower not the drink and also she is in the habit of wearing hats every time she goes outside to protect her skin so i think she's gonna love it and i'm loving the process of painting this for her a very good way to add more dimension to your paintings is by adding other shades of the same color or similar colors to add a little bit of interest and then the paint doesn't look as flat so I'm adding gray I'm mixing the white and the black and I'm adding a little bit of blue Now it's all about enjoying the process, listening to some music and continue painting the hat for my friend Margarita. Now, if you think you adding too much of the gray, you can always go back and add more white to tone down the gray. I'm going to be adding more flowers on the sides, smaller flowers and stems and leaves 
on both sides of the hat, trying to keep it a little bit of symmetrical, but not exactly the same. And when painting the leaves, I am following the same concept. I'm adding different shades of green by mixing the green with the black to make it darker and the green with white to make it lighter. In that way, the design looks more realistic and it doesn't look flat. Now I decided to add this trim, it's little daisies all around and the funny thing is that Margarita gave it to me, <laughs> so I'm going to use it for her hat <laughs> and I'm going to paint the center in yellow to make it more like the design. And I'm going to iron it also because it's a little wrinkle and then I'm going to glue it to the trim of the hat and that's going to take it to the next level completely what do you think I think it came out so beautiful I'm so happy with the results and here it is Margarita receiving the gift my Margarita. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. There you are. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Goodbye.